Welcome fellow drawers, hola amigos. Today we're going to draw Mo the Monster from Ryan's World. Como dibujar Mo the Monster. Whether you're a child or adult, if you love to draw, this video's for you, so stay tuned. You will need four supplies before we get started. Some paper, a pencil, an eraser, and a pen or a marker. I recommend starting with some warm-up exercises. You can start with some vertical lines, horizontal lines, counterclockwise circles, clockwise circles, triangles, squares, anything to warm up your hand to get you ready for drawing. Mi espanol no es bueno. So if you don't want to listen to me speaking in English, you can just mute your speakers and just follow along. Puede silenciar su altavisas y seguir mientras dibujo. Hi guys, Charles DeWandler here, and today we're going to draw Mo the Monster from Ryan's World. Like most of our drawings, we're going to start with a circle. Now for his mouth, uh, his bottom jaw kind of sticks out and his teeth stick out. So I'm going to draw a line for his bottom jaw and I'm going to draw five teeth. One, two, three. Maybe I can make him a little bit bigger. Four and five. Now we're gonna draw his eyes. He basically has two eyes in the middle, so let's do two circles. We'll put a line for the eyelid, kind of put that in the middle, and then draw the pupil. This will be the black part in a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my eyelid just a little bit over the pupil, and you'll see how I draw that in a little bit. We're gonna draw his hair and I'm coming out the side. We're gonna give him an ear. And then he has like a number three in his ear. We're gonna draw a couple spikes coming out the top like this. Spike like this. Hey, that looks pretty good. Now we have to draw his arms. So his arms kind of come out the side of his head. So I'm gonna draw a circle for this arm, a circle for this arm that's a little bit gonna be hidden on the side of his face. I'm gonna draw three fingernails, three fingernail triangles, three triangles over here. This drawing is from my friend Carlos, who loves Ryan's World. We're gonna do another circle for his legs. And we're gonna do another triangle here. Triangle. 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 I'm, I'm trying to make it look like the triangles are coming out from a circle from where his legs are. All right, good, now we've got the outline. That looks really good. Now let's go to our Sharpie. And I'm gonna start by drawing the parts that stick out in front. So the first part that sticks out in front is his jaw. So I'm going to draw the line for this jaw that kind of sticks out in front of his face. I'm gonna draw the triangles for his bottom teeth that are sticking out. You'll see why I'm doing this first in a second. All right, now the tricky part, we're gonna do his eyes. First, we'll do the circles of his eyes. Now, before we do the pupils, we're gonna draw his eyelids. So he kinda of has these eyelids that go across like that. Now, we're not gonna color in the top part of his pupil. We're only gonna part color the part of his pupil that goes under the eyelid like that. So see, it gives the illusion that his eyelid is covering the top part of his pupil. That kind of makes him look a little bit angry. With his mouth like this and his eyes like that, he looks kind of angry. I think maybe, maybe he hasn't eaten lunch yet, so he's getting cranky because he's hungry. All right, now let's do the hair on top.
All right, now here's the tricky part. Instead of just drawing a regular circle for his arms and legs, I'm going to add curves to be like his fur. I think he's furry. So watch, I'm gonna do like little half circles. And then when I get to the arm, same thing, half circles. Kind of like that. Let me do the triangles for the nails. All right, now the bottom part, we're gonna make his stomach stick in front of his feet a little bit. So I'm gonna start where his chin is, and I'm gonna do these circles again. But when I get to his feet, the circles are gonna kinda of go in front of his legs. Well, I'll make it go, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it go in front on this one. I'm gonna do circles for this leg. Draw the nail. Draw the nail draw the nail and I'm drawing the nails because they're in front and then I'm gonna put these lines behind the nails now for this leg I want to make this leg stick out a little bit in front so I'm gonna draw that part of the leg with the nail 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 and then draw that part of his leg and now I can even put a little bit of his leg here and then some back there. Then we'll do the side of his head curves down to where his arm goes and then his arm is going to come out and curve and curves like that. Nail, nail, nail. All right, we're looking pretty good. Next step. I want to take my big Sharpie and I'm going to color in his hair because his hair is going to be all black and that's going to take a lot of ink. All right, now one last step. Once the ink is dry, we can erase the pencil parts that we don't want with our eraser. And there you have it. That's Mo the Monster. This is why it looks like his eyes are behind his eyelids because see the eyelids go across and then all you see is the bottom part of the eye. You can't see the part of the pupil that's under the eyelid. Anyway, I had fun today, guys. This drawing is for my buddy Carlos. Thank you for joining me and I hope to see you next time. Enjoy free coloring activities by downloading our coloring book at drawwithcharles.com. And check out our children's book, Dallas Do Good Go Swimming, now available in English and Espanol. For more information, visit DallasDoGood.com. <laughs>